let us discuss another key characterization technique based on x-ray that is called small angle x-ray scattering is it clear from the name that this technique basically use small angle the scattering angle should be in the range from 1 degree to 10 degree very small scattering angle some reports says that the scattering angle should be from 0.5 degree to 5 degree so this technique use very very uh, small scattering angle and let me tell you that uh, based on x-ray there are four key characterization techniques the first one is basically XRD, X-ray diffraction, which is very, very common. And sometimes it is called PXRD, powder X-ray diffraction. This XRD also called wide angle X-ray scattering. These two are basically the same characterization technique. Sometimes people call it PXRD, sometimes people call it XRD, sometimes people call it wide angle X-ray scattering. And it is also called WAXD, sometimes they use here the word diffraction instead of scattering, diffraction. The second one is basically GIXS, that is called grazing incident uh, X-ray scattering. I will explain uh, in another video what is grazing basically. Grazing is uh, angle, one is incident angle, uh, this is basically incident angle, and this is basically normal in grazing is somehow here. I will explain this in another video. The third one is basically called X-ray fluorescence. This is this technique is also based on uh, X-ray, right? And the last one is basically small angle X-ray scattering. And today I'm going to explain this, right? Uh, this technique is basically x floor material structure at small angle. If we use small angle, so this is understood that the sample must be at large distance. For example, uh, if if we if we this is for example my reference, and if I want to use very small angle. Uh, scattering small angle so this means that uh, the, the sample should be uh, very very at large distance if I want to if I want to bring the uh, if you want to increase the sample uh, increase the, the the angle so this means that the sample should be close and so in this case the sample should be keep at very large distance uh, in order to have the small scattering angle so the, we, we use small angles here at large distances in the data is basically interpret uh, x-ray uh, intensity versus scattering angle the same like the Briggs law right and this uh, techniques are immensely useful to uh, uh, characterize solid objects also gel you see here not only limited to uh, solid like the solid object uh, also powder liquid also dispersion you see here and the gaseous particle like the aerosols and miscellaneous this is this this, this material can also be characterized with the help of this small angle uh, X-ray scale. Particularly, we can uh, determine uh, this uh, uh, parameter like the nanoparticle size, uh, the particle size distribution. This is a very interesting thing. And the shape of the nanoparticle. All these, uh, oh yes, the, the very, very helpful to uh, observe uh, uh, like the, uh, the the reaction mechanism, such as the uh, nucleation growth, uh, early stage phenomena, astral ripening, later stage. So it is very very important. You see here also the aggregate behavior that how the particle is basically small particle are uh, combining and make the bigger particle. Right. The working principle is very common. It basically work on the base of transmission, just like the simple XRD. But in this case, we use large angle and here we use small angle. But we interpret the data in reciprocal space here. But it is not real space uh, technique just like the transmission electron microscope, the scan angle or AFA. And these all, all, this all are already explained that they use very small angle. 